Hey Dwight, we're standing here in front of the Naked Warrior here and uh, on Oahu. And uh, that's a great place just to introduce yourself as Beyond the Teams member. Tell us a little bit about uh, class and how you got involved with Beyond the Teams. Uh, well, uh, I was in class 104, so Kenny, sorry, you're an FNG. I know, yeah. 105, sorry. <laughs> Get it from Conrad. So. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, actually, the BTT getting in with Beyond the Teams was uh, Charbo and I actually made Chief together. Okay. So uh, that's Mike Charbonnet, founder. Yep. Okay. Yep. So when uh, Mike and I were uh, got kind of intimate just in that initiation process, it was I see. Uh, pretty fun, you know. Maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't we okay. can't talk about it because it's that chief stuff, you All know. Right. <laughs> but uh, so you know, when when he first started BTT and I was doing that thousand mile bike ride, mm -hmm. um, I was like, I don't know if I could do that, you know. But uh, then with the paddling and I, I like what he said about we are at our best when we are helping others become their best. And that is, to me, it's something that rings so true. Um, I mean, I've had a very blessed life. And for me to be able to help others who have had some misfortune or just some setback in their life, if we can do something little to help them big then that means a lot yep. and plus what's cool about what we do at BTT is we're actually getting to do frogman stuff you know the paddling like that 150 mile paddle we did last year and uh, just the camaraderie there and um, so it's not your basic fundraiser um, but uh, excellent so um, we got some things rolling up in 2023 we're still in flux uh, we're talking about paddling up the Connecticut River, I believe. Uh, we have, we have uh, quite a few things. We haven't quite nailed it yet, but uh, that'll be on our website as far as fundraisers and events that we're doing. So this morning, let me just look out here. We were out here uh, paddling. It was really tough. We had to do it. Uh, we're in that OC2. And I can't believe they gave this to the Air Force. They yeah. don't. They don't deserve it, right? Agreed. We need to come back and take it by force. I think. <laughs> well, uh, the Air Force, you know, they take care of their own. Yeah. Uh, so. Oops. <laughs> if, let, me, let me just pan down over here as you're talking. Go ahead. Yeah, I know. Look at this. It, it's like. Look at this. But any anyone, you know from any service can come out here and use these facilities and uh, man I mean you, you talk about a great place I mean yeah, it, as you incredible. just saw this beach right now I mean it's February 3rd is that what second or third yeah yeah somewhere in there yeah oh second yeah, yeah. and uh, Groundhog Day man I could yeah. do this every day we could we had a good OC2 paddle uh, we'll throw some of that video up as well and uh, Anyway, thanks for uh, giving us some of your thoughts. And uh, again, in all in all uh, sincerity, uh, this statue represents a lot to us and yep. a lot of great men and women supporting uh, these men uh, have uh, are represented in this. So, all right, thanks, all right. Dwight. Aloha. Okay.